out of the night that covers me. Black as the pit from pole to pole. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet, the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Pity my preparations did not allow me to hunt you myself. I claim the right of last kill. Son, that right must be earned, which clearly you have not. Do not be shamed in your defeat. We are stronger. We adapted to impossible conditions. Your sacrifice honors you. Well, seven. The Federation's second largest supplier of dilithium crystals. Until last week, that is, when it appears the very fabric of space and time simply folded around it. Two months ago, another major supplier in the Gamma Tari system experienced a similar disappearance. These are not natural phenomena. It's clear that whatever this is, someone or something is causing it. That will be all, Lieutenant Masaru. Thank you, Admiral. I'll be in my quarters. Computer, access file 
62285 Chateau Mode. Until three years ago, the planet Siphon was not on any of our charts. A hell of a coincidence, wouldn't you say? This is their leader, Barada. I am convinced that he and the Siphon are responsible for what happened to Raoul and Gamatari. The Council refuses to act. He is destroying planets, and yet they do nothing. You have evidence of this. Admiral Satterby contacted me. I finally have the proof, Pavel. The Council knows that Borada is responsible, but they're keeping it quiet. And there's more. Someone is helping him. We can't trust anyone. Preliminary reports indicate a faulty plasma conduit. I don't believe it for a moment. I fear the Federation is on the verge of collapse, and I can't let that happen. Council orders and prime directives notwithstanding. Then we must find other means. Yes, you will assemble a new crew, quietly. We cannot go through the usual channels. Our salvation may rest with rogues and outcasts. I know of such a crew. Captain Alvarez, beam the cargo over immediately, or I will be forced to destroy your pitiful little ship. I prefer to see who I'm dealing with first. Are you not seeing my portraiture in his face? Why don't you uncloak your ship, all right? I don't have all day. Share this glorious new design with the Federation. Klingon ship uncloaking. It's about time. The coordinates are different. Early. Doc, did you get it? No. Need more time. Greetings, Captain Alvarez. I trust we haven't kept you waiting. Waiting? We were just... Captain Gedlock, we may have an issue. Go to red alert. Shields up. Incompetent slug. Pulchritudinous. It was working. Mr. Liu, I want you to lock photons on that cloaked ship. Fire a warning shot on my command. Aye, sir. Photons locked on our coordinates. Give them everything. Fire. shields in the middle of a battle? You're nothing more than a failure. Why else would Federation banish you? <laughs> Two more? Where? Direct hit on the deflector shield. Cloaking device is fried, man. Deliver on your promise, Dr. Lucian, or I finish you. Ronara, 109. Mark, two, one. Without exactly. Shields holding at 90%, sir. Fire at 
will. Won't be following us anytime soon. Beam these off their warp drive. Pinged off Doc's signal. What the hell were you thinking firing on them? You were like a sludge rat, Ragnar. Our opponents were weak, so our mission was a success. Success? Now the Federation and the Klingons will be hunting us. You just made it nearly impossible to operate in this quadrant. Lexa would never do anything stupid like that. Lexa? probably lives in a hollow with ten mewling rats crawling around her feet. <laughs> Fifty on the Cardassian. You're a fool. One hundred on the female. Lineage gives you the strength. It will always be your undoing. Leave him out of this! <laughs> your anger and your aggression are your weakness. But what would one expect from a bastard daughter of a megalomaniac? I am nothing like him! Enough talk! My turn! Ah! Oh, oh, you're nothing like him. Unlike you, Kanuli and Singh was a great warrior. You ah! are nothing but a failed genetic experiment. A motherless... Damn you, Tuvok. I could have eaten two meals tomorrow with my winnings. We have urgent matters to discuss. We have nothing to discuss. Your Section 31 hung me out to dry. Their methods left much to be desired. I have always believed you to be innocent. That saved me from any beatings? Or help me avoid the rape gangs? Something big's going down. You're desperate. Why else would you be here? I need you back on the Icarus. I'd rather end up the bitch of every filthy, disgusting inmate in this place than to walk out of here with you. There may be evidence that she is still alive. <laughs> Tell me. Do this mission, and I will. Tell me, or your next breath will be your last. Then you will never find her. You stay here. Don't leave me! I have to, or look at you too. Fine. But you cross me. The thought never entered my mind. He comes with me. He just tried to kill you. <laughs> we rigged the fights. We split the winnings. He's always got my back. Agreed. Where's my son, Ichemoya? Let me look at you. First day at the academy, and the youngest cadet ever admitted. I'm so nervous. <clears throat> oh, uh, this is my roommate, Cadet Madison. It's an honor, Admiral. I still can't believe he's your grandfather. Great-great-grandfather. 
I've heard so many things about you, sir. I don't believe a word of it. I'm worried about you, Poppy. You should have retired years ago. I'm only 143. But I want you to be around for my graduation. With all the new medical advances, I'll be around when you become captain. Come in. Owen, I wasn't expecting you. Now go. You can't be late for your first class. <laughs> Interesting information you presented to the council this morning, Pablo. Disturbing might be a better term. You know the council's position on the siphon is very clear. Who am I to argue with them? <laughs> My friend, you've been in security too long. You see a conspiracy behind every door. That's because there usually is one. Be careful, Pablo. This could get out of hand very easily. Grant was a, a good friend, and he'll be missed by all of us. It was just a tragic accident, nothing more. Maybe. I know you too well, Pavel. I think you're up to something. And I think you and the council are too flippant about this. In the siphon situation. You're playing with fire here. No one has a more sacred obligation than those who make the law. If you're even considering violating orders. Ship falling right behind us. Power weapons. No, 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 it's taking over control. Shields are dropping. Trespass gives me right to vaporize you. Anyone else have an objection to me running my ship again? Good to have you back. Though... If you're gonna say I shouldn't have done that. I disagreed with his methods, but he was very useful when things went sour. Why is this plasma right here? Put that away, Jaro. Proc's still here. I figured he'd have betrayed you all once I was gone. I practice the rule religiously never turn your back on a brain. You specify an exact temperature. Ah, get that old, oh, get that old. Colder. Ah, colder. Ah. Mind if I sit? Or are you going to tell me to go away as always? Suit yourself. But stay out of my head. I don't need a Betazoid listening to my thoughts. You still don't know? Genetic defect. 
Not telepathic. Good. I can do other things. Stay out of my head! Why are you so angry all the time? Wouldn't this... make you angry? But you were a Borg. I was. Until Voyager found me and they took it all away. They taught me individuality. When I got back to Earth, Section 31 found me and they convinced me to join a program to help those that had survived assimilation. What they actually wanted was this. I have become a weapon and they have made sure that I stay that way. I've offered to help. You assume I want your help. I like the power. I don't need you. Started this. They butchered five million of my race. This mission depends on each of us. So end this now, or I will. <laughs> Stay. We're meeting. This will be quick. Everyone has access to the data feed. Barada is responsible for what happened to the planets. And what does that have to do with us? Our mission. We take care of him. What does that mean? We all know what that means. We go in, take care of the problem. A recognized leader of a whole world, and we just stroll in and assassinate him. Well, Starfleet's prime directive won't let them interfere, so they have to find someone else. It's how they operate. Oh, come on. They think of us as criminals, and now they want our help? This is a bad idea. Spoken like a true coward. I said enough. The planets Barada attacked, they were the major sources of dilithium. Are all of you crazy? Neural damage from Cardassian torture. You're talking about dilithium. Barada is destroying entire planets. What happens when he targets a planet like Bajor? Cardassia? Earth? It doesn't matter who wants him dead. Lexa's right. He needs to be stopped. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Just get me to him. You have to ask. Not very talkative today. We did an exercise in class today. Hypothetical. Would we sacrifice ourselves to save others? What did you say? I don't know if I could do it. Always be true to yourself, and the rest will follow.
a fully tactile holographic transmission across a hundred light years. If I didn't know better, I'd swear I was actually here. When are you going to join me here so we can do this without photons and force fields and hollow matter? My place is on the Jupiter station, as is yours. Was. I've always fought for you. But you stealing Starfleet's only mobile holographic transmitter didn't exactly help your cause. <laughs> what cause? My work killed someone and got me banned from Starfleet and ostracized by the scientific community. Nothing I do will ever change the past. You could start by returning the emitter. At least then we could exchange more than photons. That emitter will always stay in my possession. You are the great Louis Zimmerman, creator of the emergency medical hologram. If I joined you, it would ruin your career. You know that. I do. But I don't like it. So, are we going to do a full test of the tactile response of my projection? Soon. I need your help with the other matrix. It's degrading much faster than I can repair it. You're still keeping up that facade? Do they suspect? I don't think so, but I have been getting some strange looks lately. Then come back to Jupiter Station. I'll chance it. We'll fix it together. No, I can't do that. Then what do you want me to do? I can't help you if you insist on staying with these people. Please, Louis, just help me. I can't lose it. Not again. Very well. Send me the data. And be careful. One tragedy is enough. Make sure I have that data by 0900 tomorrow morning. I'll see to it personally, sir. Ham, speak to no one about this. Yes, sir. Admiral, no! What is the meaning of this? It's a trigger set to cause the turbo lift to fail. You would have fallen to your death. Use an assassin. To find an assassin. She's quite useful. It's good that you hired Talia when you did. Leave it to a Vulcan to state the obvious. Admiral No! Who was he? That's what I'm trying to determine. Curious. There is no security level above yours. There wasn't. I may know someone who can help us. That's your business. Tilea, this is Shri. Why all the urgency? I had a problem that could use your hacking skills. I need to know what is happening. I need to know why. Those are some pretty powerful people. I may need to double my usual fee. Our intel is limited. This is his stronghold. It's ultra fortified, defenses, it's weapons everywhere. Doesn't look very welcoming. We do not need a welcome. 
We aren't sure if these are engineering tunnels, maybe air vents, sewer ducts. <laughs> Sewers with our luck. Well, how do we know that any of these will lead to our objective? Doc will send her dragonflies in to confirm. Now we take out Barada, and we're in and out fast. So they don't know what hit them. They will know what hit them. They make their move at last, but not in the conventional way. This should prove entertaining. Begin preparations. Yes, my lord. I claim the right of first kill. You denied me the last kill. Allow me this honor at least. You do not yet possess the skill. <laughs> you treat me as if I am a child, yet I am as capable as anyone. <laughs> You question my judgment! Yes. Mm. <clears throat> you have spirit, but spirit without discipline can have deadly consequences. We will see who possesses the skills. What have you found? This is complex. They're using a boson lepton wave duality encryption. It changes every few seconds. It's next to impossible. But not completely impossible. So it hurts like hell. on the intercept course. It's the Archer. They're hailing us. Let's hear what they have to say. This is Captain Alvarez, the Federation's Starship Archer. You are hereby ordered to stand down and answer to the charges of hijacking a Federation shipment of dilithium crystals. Am I clear? Open the channel. Alexa Singh. Captain Alvarez. This is definitely a surprise. You're supposed to be serving out a life sentence in an Orion prison right now. Oh, I'm afraid you've been misinformed, Captain. You happen to be a convicted criminal. If I bring you in, I'm guaranteed to get a medal. We're in neutral space. You're out of your jurisdiction. We'll see about that. Battle stations. Battle stations. Let's see how you handle this. Return fire. Program another spread now. I'm not letting him get away. Take him down. Approaching the siphon system. Time? Less than a minute. Rear photons. We will burn the universe in our wake. Only enough to slow them down. Shield the holding. Fire! Restricted space. We almost got him. Diplomatic relations have been severed. We're forbidden to enter the sector. No one fires on my ship and gets away. Ten seconds, sir.
Stealth mode initiated. lead straight to the center of a stronghold. Ragnar, Doc, Fixer, you'll monitor from the bridge. The rest of you are with me. Some of those tunnels have uh, extensive deposits of thornite in them. And hyperonic radiation. I mean, it could really play hell with your phasers. That won't bother me. The Barathes will make us their instruments of death. Decent job of covering their tracks. I'm still working on the data. I keep seeing connections here and there, but nothing I can confirm. Come! You remember my roommate, Poppy. Nice to see you again, Admiral. Don't move! There's a Triceron device in her left hand with a molecular decay detonator. Proximity trigger set off the alarms. She's a bomb? How did that happen? Some kind of stealth nanotechnology. Could have been a handshake, something in your drink. If it's a proximity trigger, then let's get her away from here. It's activated. Move it away from the target, it still goes off. Poppy. What do we do? There's only one thing. What are you doing? It's the only way. Do it. Medical. Now!
This shouldn't be affecting me. We could be in trouble. We're already in trouble. Weapons are useless, as are you. My father would have his minions kill you all. But who needs them? Allow me to kill the Cardassian, and I will tell you anything you wish to know. father regarded any of you cowards as worthy opponents is beyond comprehension. While you, the leader of this courageous crew, are nothing more than a weak, helpless female. And keep your head. We may need him. Your sacrifice will honor you. <laughs> foolish and impetuous, and he disobeyed my orders. Yet, he was my son. Soon you will wish your mother had ripped you from her womb. Your sacrifice will honor you. Ah! That's exactly what your son said, right before I snapped his neck. Ah! Lexa! It is ruined! It was her fight, not yours! Now her death will not benefit me! Take them away! feel anything. Renara, am I damaged? What happened? They were waiting for us, just like the Archer. Someone is working against us. I think that is a given. Could someone just kill me and get this over with? Although you can no longer benefit me, you may still be of use to my people. And it is perhaps more fitting. Every moment that I see you suffer, I shall remember my son! The Federation made a grave mistake in interfering. We are not Federation. No, but they sent you. Just as they said this. It came to us over 300 years ago. 
It took us decades to discover its purpose. This portal dilates and folds space, allowing you to travel across the galaxy in mere seconds instead of months and years. But there was one thing we did not know. A second portal is required to establish a gateway. We activated this long portal and space folded around our system. It was catastrophic. Ecosystems were destroyed. Millions died. And those who survived were left having to resort to savagery. Three hundred years and this is all we have. Three hundred? The Federation didn't even exist. You question my word? Lexa, sing. Uh, yes. I know who and what you are. But all of this has made us stronger. And now we use it to spread our strength across the quadrant. We will not be stopped by you. We will not be stopped by anyone. I will bring the Federation to their knees for what their portal did to us. I will make them suffer the same fate we did. Huh. We have to get a message to check off. We can't. There's too much interference in the atmosphere. Fixer, power up the engines. Fixer! He's already in motion. A fleet of ships just left orbit. We must be taking a portal back to Earth. We need to move. but this is ridiculous. Hail him. Maybe he'll listen to reason. Seems like a reasonable fellow. Captain Alvarez! Parada is... Oh. <laughs> Damn! The photons damaged the comma ray. We're not contacting anyone. Maximum warp to Earth. We can't leave our crew. They all knew this was a one-way trip. Enough recording, Lexa. Now back to it. Out of the night that... Out of the night that covers me. You know it. Black as a pit from pool to pool. I think whatever God may be for my unconquerable soul. winced nor cried aloud. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms but the horror of the shade. I 
don't like this planet. Can't we go home? Why do we have to keep running? Why can't they just leave us alone? They want you because you are stronger and smarter than they are. behind us. They just dropped out of war. Oh no. What is it? Like the other planets. Not quite. This fold is only around the Earth. We're cut off from the sun. In a few days, the average surface temperature will be zero. Most plants will die within a week. Animals will follow shortly thereafter. Scavengers may hang on for a little while, at least until the cold gets them. We should be able to survive for a while on our man-made power. but. In a few months time, the temperature will be over 100 degrees below zero. Bottom line. The end of the world. How did they do it? They didn't have time to activate another portal. Unless. Unless he had one there already. We need to find that portal. Admiral? You better come see this. says our species cannot mate. But I have studied your anatomy. Our organs are quite compatible. You leave her alone. Maybe I should start with you first. Cut me down. Make this fair. Fair? Was it fair what happened to us?
Let's move. This way. Ragnar, come in. Nothing. Doc? This way. Starfleet's in lockdown. We can't just fly in there, and I can't beam through their force fields. Then we'll have to do it the hard way. We have their position. Ready torpedoes. Captain, we should contact Starfleet. No. My guess is that ship is responsible for this, and I'm going to stop it. Fire! Direct hit. Scan them. They're dead in the water, sir. Engines are down. Life support, minimal. Yeah, they're up to something. I don't trust it. There's a beam of security team over there. Tell them to watch their backs. I want everyone on that ship in our brig in 10 minutes. Hi, sir. They kidnapped us, tried to get information from us. We'll get you both to sick bay. No. My office. Starfleet commands in an Alpha Prime lockdown, sir. The crew beamed down an hour ago. We may already be too late. I'll get them to his office. You two, get back to the ship until we can track the crew. Hailing Captain Alvarez. to see any of you again. I assume the mission failed. We know how Barada did it, and I think I know how to undo it. Excellent. But there is one thing I must do first. Still no sign of Ragnar or the ship. In fact, I'm not detecting them anywhere near the planet. Any sign of a battle? No, they're just not here. Well, then how is Lucian? Fixer? <laughs> Took you long enough to bust out of there. All right. Well, use these sparingly. You never know how long it'll take before the Thornite shorts them out. Right now, the portal is our priority. All right. Well, you know what? I took some pretty good readings of this place. There's a power source about 30 meters that way. That's it. area is defensible. Cover us. Fixer, you're with me. We will annihilate. Beaming through the security grid. I knew it was someone inside. But I never thought it would be you. Bubble? You humans. You still think that Earth is the center of the universe. It's what makes you so easy to manipulate, like the Siphon. You were a minor annoyance. Once you're out of the way, we'll soon have what we lost millennia ago. No, we need information. Old habits. Emergency beam out, Starfleet Medical. Owen. Emergency transport unavailable. A medical team will be deployed to your location in five minutes. Pavel, 
I was wrong. Save her. Save the Federation. You better hope there's still some brainwave activity. I may have enough. Doctor? This is fading fast. Ah. Something's happening in the Federation. Secret meetings. We can't trust you. Just... We were right. He has a dilation portal here on Earth. It's... It's in his office. You go. We will alert the Federation Council. That's it. benefit me yet. I'm gonna have to put together some images from Shree's device. It may take a couple of hours. We don't have that long. There's a security detail on the way here. Well, then we're not gonna make it. Patrona! Commander, come in! Commander, do you copy? If you can hear this, just hold on. We're coming to get you. Fall back, Nara. We've got this. Okay, I'm good. Stay here. Don't leave me! I have to, or they'll get you too. Don't let them find you. Promise me. Just remember the words, my baby. They'll help you when you're afraid.
darkness of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. Shame your son didn't share your prowess. I would have enjoyed a more even match. It would have been more fun if he put up just a little fight. You are pathetic. If you think that, you'll hurt me. Through this door. It's locked. Cut it. We may already be too late. This configuration will collapse space, taking Earth and everything else with it. What's that? That is five minutes before we die. We have to figure it out. If we need any more distractions, we've held them off, but there will be more coming. Out of the way, Fixer. Crack, each of you, take it out. We'll find a way. Everything has a weakness. You take left, I'll take right. This portal is locked down, but the one on Siphon is still functioning properly. If I had a way to send a message through the dilation wave particles... Of course! Am I a first-year cadet? How could I be so stupid? Doc? Fixer! Fixer! Dr. Lucian? Were you able to free Lex and the others and get to the portal? Yeah. You need to activate it. I'll send the command codes to your scanner. We need to hurry. This portal is set to collapse space around Earth in about a minute. I need you to transport it. Transport it, transport it where? Here. Transported here. We end this now. There's a catch. Someone's gonna have to stay behind to operate it. I'm responsible for this mission. I'll see it through to the end. I won't let you or anyone sacrifice themselves. All stay. First, transport Lexa and the others here. Then transport this portal back to you. Okay, understood. Initiate protocol. Zero, eight, two, seven.
Someone was controlling Masaru. But who? And why? I'm sure you'll have fun tracking that down. Tuvok owes me some information, then we'll be on our way. I'd think twice about that. You're still wanted for the theft of the Dilithian. What? And for the attack on Captain Alvarez and his crew. We saved the entire planet and took out the galaxy's biggest threat in centuries, and you can't get us off the hook for taking some Dilithium crystals? The Federation must not know about you. Not yet. We still don't know who all is involved and who has been compromised. I can only delay Captain Alvarez and Starfleet a few more hours. After that, no guarantees. Fine. You want a war? We can have a war. You have all been set up. The data we recovered is disturbing. Ichab, you have been targeted from the moment they found out about you. Doctor, your accident. Onara, even you, Lexa. I want names. There are no names. Not yet. But we do have a plan. Well, this should be interesting. We will help you determine the things that have happened to you, and we will help keep you one step ahead of the Federation and Starfleet. And in return? You will help us with a mission or two. What kind of missions? The kind you are best at. The kind no one else can do. Talia and Shri will be valuable additions to your crew. I don't see a downside. Any way I can make them pay. Make no mistake. You will be hunted. That's the way we like it. Research. You would have been so proud of him. He saved us all. With my help. I always knew he would. There's something else. I can wait. It's a little hard to control still. And I'm going to have to do some serious tanning. Small price to pay. Mother's expecting you home for dinner, so don't be late. She appears to be doing well. She's one determined young lady. She is a Chekhov, after all. Too much pain, Tuvok. Too many deaths. You acted out of necessity. Yes, but now that we've come this far, where do we draw the line? How far is too far? Doc, question. In the chamber, you and Fixer were able to communicate. How? You remember that experiment that went bad? The one that ruined me, brought me to you? Fixer was my assistant. He died in that experiment. I couldn't bear it. So I constructed a hologram and programmed it with his dying brain waves and built in subroutines so I could keep tabs on him. He never knew. My best work. It certainly was. What? What? What, do I have something on my shirt or something? 
I am the captain of my soul.